and welcome to Rushed Vibes. I'm Jess, this is Dave, and we are here to rush the vibe with our tribe. I don't know why I called you Dave. I don't like it. And you got something hanging off your... It's your hair. Um, you call me Dave because that's my name. No, I don't, I don't call you Dave. You called me Dave before, haven't you? By accident, and I said I, I didn't mm. like it. I don't like how it feels. <coughs> okay. Let's switch up on the intro. Yeah, remember you told me to? I did. After I said, oh, I need to change the intro, and you were like, yeah. no, it's fine. And then you were like, oh, you should probably change the intro. So I changed it. Well, it's because it. I, I, we had a moment with our last episode. I don't know if it was due to the SEO or the hashtags or... Maybe a combination of everything, but we made it into the algorithm. So we averaged like 25 to 32 views per episode. You know, small time, Mm -hmm. small time podcast, nothing crazy. For now. We had that in the first like eight hours of the episode dropping. We had 42. Nice. We had over 100 in the first couple of days. What hashtags of significance did you use? Uh, I think I put Kanye, Herschel Walker, and then I used, uh, well, the episode was called Big Thinker, Big Thinker Vibes, or Free Thinker, excuse me, Free Thinker mm. Vibes. And I'm sure I put Kanye and stuff in the in the title. Anyways, we made it to the algorithm. But, whereas... You say we, the algorithm like it's some... Yeah, we made it to the algorithm. Ominous place. Our episode was algo- algorithming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said Matthew Mathman. Our algorithm was algorithming. Okay. Um, I'm going no no shoes today, by the way. I'm totally oh. comfortable. Yeah, okay. I'm, ca- I'm casual today. At least you got socks on. Yeah. I don't got my corns out. But whereas with lesser views, you know, our, our typical average, we average like 15 minutes per view, which is decent. Mm-hmm. We only average like three <laughs> minutes per view with the, the, the more the higher the view higher view count so while it reached a wider audience uh, the main people watch past a certain point mm. so i figure if we change up the intro a little bit um have a shorter introduction maybe be a little bit more uh specific with our topics maybe i could do the chapters more often or consistently it might help but at least we know we can make it into the algorithm. We made it. We did Stop it. Stop saying it. What? Because like, I'm just picturing this ominous place that is the algorithm. We, I mean, that was us. We made it. No, but people have individual algorithms, don't they? No, the algorithm is what's running behind the scenes. It's what's suggesting videos and, <laughs> and things to people. And it's based off of like, I mean, it's a number of different things based off the videos that they watch based off of whatever may be trending because it's YouTube. So it's, you know, it's it's under the Google umbrella. So search and trends are are obviously going to play a big, big role in what's searched for and what's, what's put in front of you as a recommended video. That's where a high, I think like 20 or 30% of our views came from recommended videos. Mm. So somebody played something, it either popped up. I don't, I don't know if recommended pops up on the, on the right hand side, I know it's there, but then also after a video ends. So if you watch something. Okay. The that's, what follows immediately. Yeah. After. You know, like some, some YouTube channels, they have their um, users, they have their YouTube sets autoplay. So you finish watching something, YouTube will just start playing something else mm-hmm. that it recommends. So, so I'm kind of figuring it out. Matt says that we need to start producing uh, shorts and TikTok and stuff. So Matt can start producing. Our well, shorts. that was, that was my thing. Like, I know he's right, but I don't feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Because it's a full-time job. It's time-consuming, and I don't, my time is at a premium. Um, But yeah, we made made it into the algorithm, so. The algorithm. We didn't get no followers, though. We actually lost the subscribers, so I'm not sure who that person is, but sorry you felt like you didn't want to rock with us no more. We'll miss you. I don't know that I've ever unsubscribed on YouTube. Yeah, you have to. Because I don't subscribe to a lot of things You have to, like... It's probably what I said about the rapper from Chicago. <laughs> or what I said about him. Or what I said about Tom Brady and Giselle. 
Yeah. The first time around. Who knows? You never know. You never know. So what's up? Cancun? Cancun. How you living? I'm living. I'm back. You recovered, to, recovered from the mimosas, huh? Back to life. Back to the regular swing of life. But I'm not getting too used to it because I know I got another trip coming up. So it's like, yeah, I don't really have to adapt. Just, Jessica treats her family like a pit stop. It's just, <laughs> it's just a place it's, she stops. There are, this house is now a place she stops just, when she's in between trips. It's just so, the season I'm in. So we see her as she's you know, recouping and then preparing, recouping from her previous trip and preparing for her next trip. Look, but God, take it up with God. I ain't got no, I ain't no it's, issues. It's the season I'm in. I, I wanted, I wanted to travel. I wanted mm-hmm. to see places. Lord knew that. So hey, mm-hmm. if those are the doors that are opening, by all means, I'm gonna step through them. So yeah, um, I got, I, I just, I'm on the move. But I, um, I genuinely enjoyed. This is my second. This was my second time to Cancun. I realized there are two parts of Cancun. We were on one, which is more. I would say more not deserted but more off the beaten path like the mm. resort we stayed at was very was more isolated i i feel um mm. came off as more jungle like more country i guess if we had to reference like how we have our american setup whereas this time i stayed in like cancun proper so you know i actually like i went to walmart in cancun went to a mall um, we went. How many out. registers did they have open? They had all the registers. They had all but like three open. Of course. I was so impressed, and mind you, I used to work with Walmart. I've seen a lot of different WalMarts across the United States. By far, the Walmart in Cancun was one of the best WalMarts I've ever experienced in my entire life. Ridiculous. Registers were open. Like there were no long lines. There, I mean, we walked in and there was a KFC and the KFC's line was longer than the register lines. Of course. Uh, There were appliances, there were refrigerators, washer dryers, mattresses. I looked over, there were mopeds, there were motorcycles. There, I mean, it was... We they were selling mopeds in Walmart? Inside the Walmart. Like, just imagine a display of motorcycles and mopeds just in the store. Like how you would see kids' toys. Like in the front of the store, you walk in and it's just, you feel like a moped, Hmm. you feel like a motorcycle, you just grab it. Refrigerators, stoves, washer dryer sets. So So it's like they combine all the major retailer, different retailers that you would find here into one. It sounds like. Yeah, I would think the, I, I don't know that they have like a Best Buy or. Lowe's. Lowe's or a Target. But it, it's essentially one-stop shopping. And we were just on one side of the store. So we didn't get to the grocery side. So I don't even know what that side of the store looked like. But it was massive. And then there was a Sam's Club across the parking lot. So if you're not getting what you need from Walmart, you can get it from Sam's Club. So it was, it was I enjoy going to other countries and just seeing their stuff as a local would because you know when you're at a resort you could be at a resort anywhere if you don't leave the resort you could be there are a thousand different places across the world you could be so actually getting the chance to get in and and see like we took a cab it was nice it was nice seeing like real cancun um so i i definitely enjoyed this trip i think if i ever go back i would do Cancun the way I did it this trip because you know there we did a city tour we went to the mall we went to a restaurant that was an amazing experience all of this off of the resort so I definitely I like having the option to see the mainland to an extent um and Cancun was really clean like compared to Puerto Plata, which I don't know that I'll ever go back because like I saw one fly in Cancun. One, like house fly, one. Whereas when we were in the Dominican Republic, there were flies everywhere. It was, but it was, I don't know. Cancun was just really clean. 
it was, it, it, I just enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And even, and I've been there before and I enjoyed it the first time. Um, and I guess every time I go to Cancun, I get sick, but, um, I was, re- I was just really impressed. I was really impressed with it. Uh, I was like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta get the people, my people back here. We got to see it together again. So that was the only thing in terms just like when you're enjoying a place and just wishing that you could enjoy it with like your crew, uh, and not having everybody there, but it was, it was a good trip. Um, I had a lot of mimosas. I, yeah, we know <laughs> every time, I, every time I open up Instagram, and I saw morning. Jessica's story. There was another mimosa. I'm <laughs> just like the strawberry mimosas were great. The, the, the drinks were great at the resort. The food was subpar. Uh, I'm so glad we did that meal off the resort. And I think that's the thing with all inclusive year. The likelihood of getting like phenomenal meals are very low. Um, but at least, you know, that your meals are included. So I, I did have a really good meal at this restaurant that was, it was like a nightclub. It really seemed like a cover restaurant. Like one of the guys who seemed like probably owner, head manager guy, he just came off as like someone who may have just snorted a line of Coke in the back before he came out. Hmm. Uh, Cause when it's someone's birthday, they all like, they had the- They all sniff lines of Coke? No, no. no. But they had like, like the- they have servers that are male, but they have these beautiful women who are just in nice dresses. And I don't really know what they do, but when they're bringing someone like their birthday wish, they have like firecrackers. So they come off as like VIP girls because when they bring you a drink, they bring they they have it lit up and it's like a whole performance when they're wishing you your happy birthday. You know, they have they had a DJ. Mm. Um, so I was like, it just came off very like they're laundering funds through here. And yeah. somebody has snorted lines of coke in the back. And then, you know, people had very similar tattoos in the same placement. So and maybe I've just watched too many shows, which probably... You can take, you can take the maybe out of that statement. Okay, I've watched too many shows. Yeah. But with that, I've been, I can pick up things. And there were just some specific things that were, were interesting. Um, like one of the girls, she was so sweet, but... Like she had this bob haircut and it, that's a very suggestive haircut for those type of operations. Uh, so I just feel like she knows something that if stuff goes down, like she's the one they're going to snatch and tie up to a chair and like try to get information out of her and then like deliver her head to somebody. Um, poor thing. I'm not sure. Try- <laughs> Again, I watch, I clearly watch too many shows, but it, it really gave off like this is some kind of operation like this is just a cover business but regardless the food was great the overall performance of the restaurant was great i would absolutely go back if i go to cancun if you are going to cancun hit me up i will let you know this place they had a fire performance like they had these fire dancers i guess they do it every night but it was it was a good trip it was a it was overall a good trip good glad you enjoyed yourself you should come next time like you were invited this time. That was a, it's a backhanded invitation. I was like, oh yeah, you, you want to come? You didn't. It wanna, wasn't like it wasn't like, oh, go. we're going to Cancun. You should come. It was like, <laughs> but you didn't want. Do go. you want to come? Like you didn't want to go. And I was like, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be nobody's sloppy seconds. What? Nah, I'm not gonna be an afterthought invitation. Nah, no man. You didn't want to go. I know. I know my worth. <laughs> Kings. Know your worth. Anyway, he didn't want to go. Because when the opportunity came, he was like, nah. I don't know that's true. You said you didn't want to go I because I asked you multiple did I say, times. Did I say directly that I did not want to go? <laughs> not in such words, but you didn't show ex- like interest that you wanted to go. Cause I, no, I never, to go. I never want to go anywhere, but See? eventually I get excited. Anyway, so that was that's my Cancun recap. Lots of mimosas. Took a whole fifteen minutes to tell us about you asked. Cancun. No, I didn't. No, I, I'm no. I have no. You asked what's new, no, I but I, because of Cancun, I don't know what. I feel like I don't know what's going on between the moment I left America and even up until maybe Saturday. I'm. N- I don't know what is is going on. Like you had to tell me about the unfortunate school shooting that took place in St. Louis. Yes. 
Um, and I think there was something else you told me about in my while I was gone that I, I completely missed. I wasn't off the grid, but I just wasn't going out of my way to stay. Oh, you're on no, vacation. You yeah. shouldn't be. Yeah. I'm supposed to be unplugged. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's really expected that you would be on the up and up. Yeah. So what's new with you? Um, I'm tired. That's not new. It's not. But I'm tired. You know why? Because you have Because why you were sipping your endless mimosas. I was here trying to make sure that your children, your children, because when they're inconvenient, they're yours, stay clothed, fed, and alive. And most of the time, to make sure that they stayed alive, I was protecting them from me. <laughs> Because there's a couple times <laughs> your middle child, especially, almost caught a rock bottom she, off the top rope. She is on something else. I don't know what you did to her. I didn't do anything. Sit when except I left. not kill her. Because she's she alive. Has, she has been a different level of just sassy. She came. I came back, and she's been calling people mean. She's been saying people are being mean to her. Well, you, are, you are being mean to her. I'm not. You are. If you say something, she... Said, you just say no. If you say <laughs> you something, say, and I have to tell her <laughs> I said, Savi, just because You're someone is mean. saying something you don't want to hear doesn't mean they're being mean. They're just saying something you don't want to hear. Daddy's being mean to me. You're being mean to me. She's just... And now she's in this choosing to not use words at times. So it's just... It's interesting. She's interesting. And yeah. then... The little one, she's on, she's on something else too. The only one who's pretty consistent is Solace right now. Solace is just like, this is how Solace I was is, when you left. This is how I am when you came back. Solace is goat. The other two, like Sonoma has just figured out that she can and will, and she does. And Savi is, yeah, so they're, I, I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, shout out my little brother, Alan, who brought my wardrobe over yesterday. So as you guys can see, it says the yard, Joe Gates, swag surf, low vibrational plates. So uh, it's from Hall Pass LLC on Instagram. Go check him out. But he is an alumni of uh, North Carolina A and T. So last weekend was Jiho, known as the greatest homecoming on earth. So he went out to the yard and bought me a sweatshirt. He brought me nothing. So yeah, because you hating on low vibe. He would have got you a sweatshirt if you weren't hating on the term low vibration. Because it's overused. No, it's not. So shout out to and he enjoyed a plus. He Jenny Weaver for her but God T shirt. The witch. X witch, excuse me. <laughs> My bad. No, I. Well, hold on. Let me let me clarify. So, Jacynthia put the video up uh, because of Halloween. You know, they were saying and Halloween was this week, so she was saying how um, you know we should be consider whether or not we celebrate Halloween, especially with children, because a lot of the things uh, that it stands for. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she shared a video of Jenny, um, who had said she used to be a witch. Her words, not mine. Okay. These are not my words. I didn't watch the video. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a really significant thing, right? Like, to have been a witch and to say so publicly, right? Like, who was the last person that, like, you did an icebreaker with him? You know, and they say, say your name, where you're from, something interesting <laughs> about you. <laughs> like somebody said, yo, I'm David. David I'm David from Charlotte. And I'm a witch. Like, yeah, people don't normally say right. this. First of all, you're a man, so you'd be a warlock. A warlock, excuse me. All right. So, I'm Jessica. I'm from Worcester. Please don't. Worcester. <laughs> the witch trials. And you say you're a witch. Like, people would the think. The witch trials were in Salem. I'm saying, but it was in the area, right? In, in Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts. So, I'm just saying. I was like, wow. She, like referred to herself as a witch i mean she's not anymore obviously but um so i didn't mean the witch i meant it's just the way you said the it the former like, witch the witch yeah it's like you find well, it's a, like you find a key term that you affiliate to someone and then when it's called shelving whenever I talked they become about this. referenced but it's always like a bad like the worst 
key term. It's not. It's not bad if you lean in. <laughs> Just lean into it. Anyway, yes. So it's like, can I? Can we talk about it? PTO. Sal's this PTO. <laughs> oh God. Can we talk about? It? I mean, she's not going to see this, right? No, let's okay. not talk so, about it. So we can't talk about. Oh I don't man, think we should talk about okay. it. Okay, I'm not going to incriminate yeah. myself. Okay, but yeah, Jenny, Jenny, she's the um, former, yes, former witch. She is now currently a minister. That's what, she, I, that's what I'm saying. She's and but, she makes in the, she, her in, company pro- produces T-shirts that yeah. have spiritual statements, and this one is but God. Yeah, because God saved wearing, her from the witchcraft. Yeah, I was wearing one of her shirts in Sam's Club. Not, in, I was just wearing a shirt and. um they said not today satan so i was walking through sam's club and all these like old white people kept being like not today not and i didn't know the shirt i was wearing i just grabbed a shirt and put i was like why does everyone keep saying not today satan so finally like the last person to say he like pointed at my shirt and he was like not today satan and then i looked down and i was like not today but it was just i didn't understand it's like when you you work in realty retail and you have a name tag and you leave and then people redress you by your name you're like how do you know my name because i'm wearing a name tag but yeah so she's got a lot of different cute shirts um so that's what's up yeah yeah so i i'm just want to apologize to if if jenny happens to ever I, see this jenny's never gonna watch this probably not but if just cynthia sees it this um, is not gonna watch this she's gonna watch our podcast dang I don't, I don't so. that sucks because i listen to hers I guess I'll stop. I guess I'll, I guess I'll unsubscribe. <laughs> I'll get the I'll get practice and seeing what well, it's like. Time they dropped an episode. I feel like it's been a minute. I haven't. Uh, I think it was July. Okay, so I haven't missed much. Yeah, there was one she and Ian did. Ah, cool. Yeah, because I'd be current. Because I listen, I listen to our friends' podcast. It's November. <laughs> no, well, that's the last time they they dropped one. Okay, but I know I know the the time in which they dropped it. Okay, because I support our friends i support our friends too no i know you do they don't support us this is true <laughs> i'll be watching our podcast support sometimes so. is one-sided anyway this is the episode you are, everybody watches yeah, no, you, know. you, you are wearing shirts and stuff man yeah and Cynthia is a brand ambassador so and yeah, we ain't give her no credit we ain't give her no credit until she, she watched i believe she has an affiliate link well we're not dropping it not until she watched the episode she okay you let her know too tell her i said no, it. i'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut off her five hour supply too She's going to be short a couple of racks. <laughs> You're like, where my racks go? Oh I'm like, yeah. Anyway, besides being tired. What was what I saying? Is, How do we get to witchcraft I from me being tired? I don't know. Um, we'll have to go back and watch the episode to find out. Yeah. Tired. Um, I, I get to experience being a single father. A solo of, uh, father. No single. No single. You weren't single. You no were single. just by yourself. No single. Because you weren't around. You left us. Just because someone isn't around doesn't make you single. I was solo dolo. Which is um, what I just said. You were solo. And single. It was uh it was it was very interesting. Of course I wasn't really that single because Shay was here mm-hmm. for majority of it. So I really just had them over the Friday night, over the weekend, and then into the following week because Shay ended up getting well, she worked Monday and then she got sick Tuesday. So I really wasn't really wasn't that bad. Uh, the days were long mm-hmm. and then you don't realize because you're not around you don't have that other adult around like they all come to you for like everything and then you realize no 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 because the thing is for me when the other adult is around they still come to me it's funny because i was not done yet and I'm you cut me and you cut I'm me just off just letting you know the difference between yeah, mom and yeah, dad yeah whatever because even yeah, when we don't you're need around, to have we don't need to have parent wars okay this isn't a this isn't a battle it's not a competition i just want to tell my i just want to do this bit and tell my piece okay so you don't realize uh how much kids need until they can only come to you for what for their needs <clears throat> so i always be like daddy can have some water i'm like yes and then she would just sit there and look at me <laughs> like, all right, but fool. She she like, get herself water. Exactly. That's like, when I, was all, I turn around, I'm like, why are you still looking at me? You know how to get water and you know where the cups are. Like, go get some water. And then she would be like, I'm like, why are you getting an attitude when you know how to get the water? You know where the cups are. You can reach it. You don't need a stool. You don't need anything. You can literally reach the spitzer 
from the fridge like why are you in my face just go get water i don't i have never heard a parent tell their kid no you can't have water like go get it like i'm gonna put a sign up like if you need something ask unless it's water just get it <laughs> you don't want somebody like, getting it's like water. six times a day your daddy can't get some yes and every time she would just sit there and be looking at it. I'm like, Silas, go get the water. Like, like it was a full moon or something. I don't know what was wrong with her. But that was it. That's all she really asked me for. I and then, of course, it's like, okay, you wake up in the mornings on Saturdays, right? Like, all right, let me get the kids up. Get the baby up. Change the baby. Change the middle one. All right, let's go downstairs. Get the baby her milk first because she's going to be the most likely going to be the first one a while out. Mm-hmm. So I get the baby's milk ready, throw her on the floor. Give her a bottle, right? What? I just don't like the terminology. Oh, okay. Toss her on the floor. Give her the bottle. And then um, you get, you know, the food for the other two. And keep in mind, I need to have my coffee, right? I need my coffee for me for to be good, to function, to be the provider I need to be for these children. I need to make sure I have my coffee. But I'm taking care of them first. So I get them food. I get them set. Everybody good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. Great. I go to make my coffee, right? French press, of course. I pour the coffee. I make it. I give it. My butt cheek was not this much on the cushion. Daddy, can I have some juice? You should have known to get them something to <laughs> but drink. But I said, do you need anything? They said, no. And juice is not a need. It's just, it's supposed to be a default. No. It comes, you want juice just say you want some juice it comes with breath. like why you gotta wait like <laughs> i don't know if you understand i think you do like parents out there i know y'all understand like how frustrating it is to think that you've got everybody set so that you can finally take care of yourself Mm-mm. and the, you, you are so close you're so close to enjoying it and then it's like daddy daddy yo I'm so glad you came home when you did. If I heard daddy one more time, like, they didn't call me dad. They didn't call me father. They didn't call me pops. It was daddy, daddy, daddy. Like, what? What do you want? I got to the point I was hiding in the bathroom. I'm like, oh, so this is what it's like for moms. Yeah. And then the baby, the baby somehow sniffs me out. Like, I intentionally Babies can sat her. No, look, I sat her, right? Because, you know, our, our downstairs bathroom is on the other side of the house from like the kitchen so i took her to the kitchen with her back to the bathroom right (laughs) and had her face on her sisters and ran to the bathroom didn't turn the lights on didn't turn the fan on nothing so just the bathroom door is just closed right i'm in there and it's like a horror movie right where you (laughs) you could get the music playing it's like ding ding and then you just hear a beating on the door and i don't say anything And of course now she's freaking out because I'm not responding. So I'm not in the bathroom, but she can't find me. So you know what time it is. It's panic time. So now she starts crying. I'm just like, oh my God, I've been here 45 seconds. I needed at least three minutes. I couldn't even get that. Mm -mm. So I open the door. She stops crying. I get her, you know, settle her down. Daddy, <laughs> just like oh my god, yo! I like, and then I'm like, but they're not being, they're not being like bad or anything, because like, so I can't send anybody to, I can't send them to their rooms because they're not being bad. Like, you need a reason, especially Silas, Little Miss Esquire, and in waiting, I like, go to your room. Why? Because I said so. That's not good enough. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Well, mommy said, "Is your mommy here?" She would have texted me. That's right. Your mom ain't here. It's me. It's a one one bull rule. She would have texted me. I'm the president. I'm the emperor. I'm the king. I'm I'm glad you survived. Jess, it was crazy. It was like, it was the most fun, chaotic, depressing, demoralizing, (laughs) excellent time of my life. Like I went through so many different emotions in the span of like minutes. Like, like hot to cold, like peaks and valleys. It was, it was fascinating. It was a fascinating mm-hmm. experience, but I'm glad I went through it. Yeah, I'm you better, did it. I'm, I'm better proud for of you. it. I'm better for it. Because I haven't even had them. Yeah. Have I had them off alone overnight? I haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, because I don't leave you. 
because you, know, you don't go anywhere. Because <laughs> I don't leave you. You could leave me. No. Nah. I always encourage it. You just nah. choose not to. Because I'm a I'm a better human. <laughs> no, it was it was so it was it was crazy. Uh, fortunately, I took off work right because mm-hmm. it was at the tail end of my two weeks off. Uh, Monday, I went back to work, but Shay was here. Tuesday was wild because she called out, and then um, so I had the two younger ones by myself. I got like nothing done. I had no work done. I got I was able to get through meetings. I had to get through my team meeting with Sonoma, like trying to eat my earbud while I was talking. So I know that on the other end, of, like I know my team, all they heard was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm sorry." So I'm like, "Yeah, that's just my that's, <coughs> that's just my basic basically one year old just trying to eat my my earbud." Don't don't mind her. Got through that. Had a couple other meetings, and then what was crazy is. Like for the last couple of months, I've been getting that two thirty in the afternoon feeling, sleepiness at like one o'clock. Like I've been getting a whole hour and a half early. It's crazy, and it's just like a wall. Like, boom. And I'm just fading. Um, and Shay's here, right? I can take like a little micro nap because she's, you know, she's managing the kids. I don't know Shay here, and of course I couldn't get them down for a nap at the same time. So that was just, Tuesday was a significant struggle because I was just I was a dog tired and I couldn't I couldn't focus and so I was I was really excited when they uh, when they went to bed that night but you know made it through mm-hmm. on the other side of it getting ready to do it again this weekend because you're leaving us again mm-hmm. yeah. booked and busy. Yeah. That's me. So, um what am I talking about? I I don't know. Yeah. I'm not I'm not very current on what is happening. I know about the rapper from Chicago and like everyone just canceling him, which has led nah. me to having new opinions, but nah. I don't want to I don't want to cover That's what it. that's what he wanted. He's playing chess. He wanted I, to get out of his out of his agreements without yeah. having to pay. I th- I think so. No, I think and the, but people are also trying to say he was proving a point that when he was saying what he was saying about black people, that no one said you know we need to cancel him. But as soon as he, you know, switched it up and said some things about some other people, that's when he started getting canceled. I feel like there are other. I feel like you could afford to use like other people's experiences for an example, especially when it comes to like your livelihood, mm-hmm. like. Why would I, like, if I wanted to prove, say this, say this is true, right? Say I wanted to prove it. Like, why couldn't I use, like, somebody else's example? Like, why would I sacrifice? Self? Yeah, it's like self-sabotage. It doesn't, it, the, the logic. Isn't there. It's not there. I mean, people just want it to make sense. They want, <clears throat> they want some kind of understanding as to why someone would, you know, allegedly go off the deep end like this. But, um. I do somehow I managed to stay current on that. Um, today, unfortunately, a member of the Migos. I don't know the Migos anymore, but. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm just proud that I now know that, that they are the Migos because I call them. They were Migos. They were. They were Migos. Not the Migos. Because <laughs> I call them the Amigos. Yeah, I, we, we know. Okay. No. And then Shay had to school me because I was like, I don't even think I know any of their songs. And she was like, you know, the song Versace Versace. And I was like, that's their song. Cause she said they've been out since like 2013. And I was like, no, they're not. I would have known. Cause I've been around since before 2013. Probably not. Yeah. I didn't know that song used to annoy me. And now. Well, you don't do repetition. So I can understand how yeah. that would, that would annoy you. It, it sounded like a song, a small child would sing to get on your nerves intentionally yeah. so um yeah rest in peace to <sighs> i'm not gonna say the wrong name and disrespect someone who may have died okay but yes so that yeah. that has in happened he, in houston it happened early this morning yeah I think. and news broke really quick um I will tell you one thing about social media. It no, social media told me well before the citizens app told me. Yeah, I was up this morning. 
And uh, I think I looked at my Twitter around like 6.30. And uh, that's when I saw it. Mm -hmm. So um, anyone who was was up late, you know, like stays up late through the night, Mm -hmm. probably knew about it. And obviously people who wake up early. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Sad day. It's, it's crazy world we live in. Mm-hmm. What else? Is anything else happening? Or has happened? I mean, there's, I mean stuff happens. Like, I mean, yes. Stuff happens every day. Media circle every single day. But stuff happens every day, P. Anything that you wanted to discuss? No, it's just it's just good to be good to be back. Mm-hmm. You know, we've at this point it's been like two weeks. Yeah, uh, we took last week off to give you time to recover, mm-hmm. which I um, desperately needed. Yeah, and then we had the episode beforehand. Uh, Elon Musk officially took over Twitter. Yeah, so there's that. It's it's actually happening, or has happened. So. I'm curious how that's going to fired everybody on the sp- like fired, fired all Walked the seat in with the sink. Yeah, to like let it sink in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I understood. Yeah, I just thought it was weird. Well, it was. He's weird though. He's different. No, he's weird. I mean, you um, can, I mean, how much? But how much do you? I thought that that was like. A, I thought that wasn't like. I think they. I thought they changed the kid's name afterward. Did they? I th- I've vaguely remember reading that i, I never i don't that. really care what people know I their kids I, I do well i don't because they're not my kids so i don't really care mm, well i'd be like somebody named what somebody else names their kid they got nothing to do with me it's not my problem okay uh so I'm, I'm never gonna be pronouncing anyone anyway. i'm just gonna be like I, elon musk kid i am curious what is going to happen with twitter maybe this will create a spin-off social media for black people like and we'll actually get our own black twitter instead of having to funnel through Twitter to find the blackness. Cause that that's tough for those of us who aren't deep in black Twitter. Like, you know, you're talking about the algorithm <laughs> that's <laughs> black Twitter and people would just say black Twitter. And I was like, am I just not black enough to act like to have access to black Twitter? Like, where do I find the details of black Twitter? Who is, who is a gatekeeper for black Twitter that can like lead me down the path of black Twitter. Yeah. Um, that was a really intense. It was vibrate. I thought somebody was like texting me. I was like, at this hour. Yeah, uh, it'll it'll be interesting to see. Like he fired all the, like the CEO mm-hmm. and CFO legal. And, and legal and all them. That's very dangerous. very quickly. Yeah, it was rumored that the, someone actually actually had to be escorted out. Like you know, when you get the the security and they just kind of. They kind of walk you out, point their hand, take your bag to the door. Yeah, it's rumored, but my uh, my sources on the ground in San Francisco haven't been able to confirm yet. So I think I know someone who works. Keep it as a so do I have my sources. And um, he's got a lot of his, uh, you know, rich venture capitalist buddies uh, advising him right now, trying to figure out ways to. They say make it better. I think it really just to find a way to, to to grow revenue because that's always been Twitter's problem. Um, it's a very important uh, medium and culture, mm-hmm. just culture in general. Like when stuff breaks, like I find out breaking news on Twitter, whereas you used to have to wait for the interruption, of whatever show you were watching, mm-hmm. you get a news break, um, or you wait for the. Uh, you know, the publications, the papers to put it out and you know, put release it on their websites. Well, now the journalists are just break, dropping it on Twitter, Twitter yep. the breaking news, and then they'll write their articles later. I tell you, Joe Bruno here in Charlotte, he breaks the Charlotte news on Bruno Twitter. Bruno's very well uh, plugged in. He is. Yeah. He's, he's that. And people will like see stuff on Twitter and they'll be like, this is happening. And then they'll tag Joe Bruno and Bruno will be like, I'm on it. <laughs> and then they like get answers like 15 minutes later. I'm like, yeah, Yo, damn, Bruno. He's goat. He is goat. I feel he, like I feel like he could be a he could be a fixer. 
He probably could. If he wanted I to be. think I think if he chooses to retire from news, like that yeah. would be where he went to just be a fixer because he has that capability. He's, he's got, just he's got the connects. He's everywhere. got the connect. Yeah, absolutely. Um Yeah. So uh so that's going on how with How did we how did he get to wanting to was Twitter even for sale? I don't I mean most boards are always considering how to uh, increase value for their shareholders. I think he just offered to take them private. You can make bids on you know, companies. You can say, "Hey, I want to want to buy." If your offer is attractive enough, like the board should listen mm-hmm. because they got to keep shareholders in mind. So, we'll I mean, that's how he did a lot of the tw- like Tesla. Doesn't I don't think any of his companies do marketing, so that he is the marketing vehicle for the company Mm. and then you know consumers who like teslas they have their own communities and you know there's there's a fandom there's a fandom behind i have to find a documentary on him i know his mom is like a supermodel but i i need to like i'm curious about who he is and then i heard a clip on npr where people are like well is he a hero like bruce wayne or is he just a supervillain like apparently like these are conversations that happen like where people mm-hmm. try to figure out what if he's just elon musk no i think he's one of the two i don't i think he might be a super villain oh. i think he's how what has he done that's i think he's growing into a super villain like you know those good guys who turn bad i think he's still in his conversions so you the die hero you live long enough to see yourself become the villain yeah I think I think that is. God, I love that movie. I was watching it the other morning. I, well, I was trying to, and then everybody woke up, came downstairs, asking me for breakfast and juice. These kids, I swear they're so selfish. Like you don't see me trying to enjoy one of the greatest movies ever made. You don't think that's so bad? <laughs> but I was downstairs first. I'm not asking them. This for, is their house. I'm not asking them for anything. This they is, came downstairs asking me for this stuff. This is their house. These kids look so selfish. I love my kids. I really do. Children are supposed to be selfish. No, they're not. Yes, they. And that's why. Them. That's why. That's why we have all these. That's why nobody wants to work these days. Because <laughs> we're teaching our kids it's okay to be you selfish. You are selfish. I'm not selfish. You. I have selfish. I have self. No, work. wait. I have selfish tendencies. Because there's you, a because there's you're a selfish. there's a difference between being selfish be, and having tendencies. Because there's you're a very selfish. specific difference. I have tendencies. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's a super. I think he's just rich, wealthy, some of the wealthiest people in the world. Mm-hmm. So you're automatically, people are gonna hate him just because of the pure fact that they got money. Like, there's this thing where people are like, nobody should be a billionaire. I'm like, the fuck? like, what kind of sense does that make? <laughs> because everybody can't do it. So nobody should do it. Nobody should be able to be a billionaire. Like that makes absolutely no sense. That's an actual conversation that's happening. There are. I. I have seen what do you do you you can't make more than 999 million dollars people like no one should be a billionaire you like you should people really have proposed that there should be like a cap on your net worth like once you reach a certain point like anything else should be like siphoned off or just taxed to hell like like how do you i like i get capitalism is ugly and has ugly history Mm -hmm. right but you can't like Amazon, Apple, mm-hmm. Microsoft, like these companies are Goliaths, mm-hmm. right? But they provide value mm-hmm. to a lot of people. Businesses depend on Microsoft for their office for like years. Now they're hardware companies rely on them for their hardware. Um, Apple, same thing. Amazon, Psh. like, so you don't think a person who started and and like was the catalyst behind growing this thing into the behemoth that it is shouldn't deserve whatever um amount of net worth or richness that comes with it get out of here i don't understand it and i'm not capping i'm not keeping for for rich people i just think that if you create something and it provides value to a wide net of people um, and allows other people to 
to create livings like because you have amazon has their own um what is it called fulfillment by amazon businesses right like people can run their businesses on amazon's platform um and other platforms like they allow people can have an idea that they want to work for themselves and they can do that on amazon so not only is amazon selling goods and stuff like that to people but they're actually allowing people to like make a living for themselves like work for themselves technically and that's just an, this is one example it's like you create something and it's got ridiculous value for a whole bunch of people like you should be compensated for mm-hmm. it whether it's 200 million 2 million 100 billion like whatever it is like you've earned it mm-hmm. it's yours and I don't think you should be seen as a villain or you know as uh, a um a net negative to society because you're just richer than everybody else. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree at all. Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just always bothering me. People, I, I see that. People like, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think he's just, I think he's just rich. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's a hero or anti hero or a villain or whatever. I think he's just, a rich guy doing rich, rich guy, guy doing thing. whatever what rich people do and now he, he's a rich guy who owns twitter so we'll see what happens i mean he probably he'll probably end up selling it mm-hmm. at some point i would think <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see mm-hmm. um Kyrie irving you heard about Kyrie? i mean i know who he is <laughs> that's good you know he is a basketball player um so he's uh, shared a video, a link, to, not a link. He posted a picture, I think, of um, a movie on Amazon that is uh, said to be anti-Semitic and have um, falsehoods and things like that. And it, I, I hadn't dug into it because I, I, I've, I've. What's tr- the movie? I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know, but it was uh, very quickly called out. And um, he was actually questioned about it in his post game press conference the other night. I think it was what's today, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I think it was like Saturday or Sunday. Um, and the journalist said, "You know, hey, you've been you promoted this." And Kyrie was like, "Like, how did I promote it?" Like he's like, "I put it on my my page." He's like, "But I'm not like doing press stories or anything." And he told the journalist, "He's like, don't you put stuff out." And the journalist was like, well, yeah, but my stuff isn't seen as being anti-Semitic. <laughs> and, um, and Kyrie was just like, he just wasn't really trying to answer the question. But he also contradicted himself because uh, he tried to say, like, I'm an influential person. But then when it came back to, like, why would he post something that was anti-Semitic, he was like, well, I'm just a, you know, just a person like everybody else. <laughs> like, well, yeah, like- I mean, you are, but you aren't. Uh, and then he ended he ended the interview or the, or the press conference. So the Nets, the organization he plays for, um, the owner came out and said, you know, hey, you know, I disagree with this. You know, I'm going to have a conversation with Kyrie. We got to be careful about the things we put out. We don't tolerate, you know, racism on any form, bigotry in any form. Blah, blah, blah. Um, also news breaking today. Eme. They fired Steve Nash, who they should have fired probably last year or over Steve the summer. Nash again. Steve Nash was their coach. And they replaced him with Eme. They Allegedly. are, uh, rumors are that they will, uh, within the next couple of days, they will now see as their new coach. Yes. So, that's, so Stephen A was saying that that's why okay, the Celtics. You listen to Stephen A? Okay. That's why the Celtics put him on suspension because they knew if they fired him, he was going to go to the Nets. So because they're a division rival. Yeah. So my question is. Okay. Did he quit amid his suspension? Is that something you're allowed to do? Like, can you pursue another job? Can you get well, another the, job? The Celt- they'll they'll have to negotiate him being let out of his contract. So either they'll probably say, "Hey, if you want to do this, fine," but. I don't know what clauses are in the contract or whatever. I don't know if they could probably have to pay it out. Well, normally if you fire a coach and I don't know what, like, again, I don't know what clauses are in 
Um, there's like a morals clause in the contract. But normally if you fire a coach, you're still on the hook for their salary for however many years you sign them. So whether they're coaching or not, like if you sign, if they sign me for a four year deal and I got fired in year two, they still have to pay me the last two years of my uh. salary. I don't know if because of his behavior, things that are alleged to have happened, whatever the net, whatever the Celtics found out. I don't know if that allows them to kind of get out of paying them or get out of paying him if they let him go to Brooklyn or if they still have to pay him. But it, it everything I've read on Twitter, it makes it seem like they're not going to have an issue letting him out of his contract okay. and letting him go to Brooklyn. So I don't, know, I don't know why they didn't just fire him from the dump though. I feel like I have to, I don't, I don't, typically Man, like Stephen the, the only thing I can think of is if they're still investigating but, but they I didn't want him around doing the day to day while the investigation okay. was going on because it would just be a media circus okay. right so if you suspend him yeah it's it's going to be a thing for a little bit but when was the last time anybody talked about Ime before today right like nobody mm -hmm. was really nobody was really he, talking he, about him so but if he was still there still coaching and then if they like if they had been losing you know it's just it's just it a makes sense. perfect storm for like just chaos. So I think that's probably why they did it. But I don't know that anyone ever expected him to come back. Like, like we're just going to set you out for a year and then just welcome you back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like next time we're over. Yeah. Like I, I never expected him to go so back. So what's happening with the old girl? Is she getting fired? Who's old girl? The one he had the relationship with. Mm -hmm. I feel like she should also be suspended. Well, I, not really caring about the Celtics, but for Brooklyn, like it's just gonna be a, like it's it's gonna be a circus. Like immediately, they're already in New York. Um, you got the Kyrie stuff, mm -hmm. and then like Kevin Durant wanted the coach fired and the GM fired. Like this past summer, he was like, either fire them or trade me. So they were trying to trade him, but they couldn't because everybody knew one is Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. right? Like top three four player in the league but 32 33 he's old dur he's getting up there um injury has a recent history of injuries but he still has crazy value but if you trade for him you got to gut your team mm -hmm. so then you go from being maybe a team that's on the fringe or a team that sucks to being a team that's on the fringe or a team that sucks but you got kevin durant mm -hmm. so it's like how much better is he really going to take you that much further if he doesn't have pieces around him? So he didn't get moved, but now it's out there in the press that he wanted the coach and the GM fired. So now he has to go into the season and play for him. So I don't know why if they, it's like six, seven games in, I don't know why they didn't, because they fired Nash. I don't know why they didn't just fire him in the off season, but that's neither here nor there. It's not my problem, but it's going to be a circus if they bring him in. Cause you got Kyrie, Ime. It's just scandal. Yeah, you need Olivia Pope. That's what you that's, need. That's 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 exactly who they, they need. They need to they call. Need, they need Olivia. Where, where, where Olivia at? Yeah, but um, but apparently there's um, according to TikTok, there's a serial killer around Charlotte, killing black women. But I heard allegedly that CMPD is trying to say that they there is not a serial killer. Uh, that's what the people in what the police in what Kansas City said. There's some some place recently where people were trying to say that there's a serial killer targeting black women, and the police were like, "Nah," and then found and it turns out that there was. And so I didn't actually, I haven't looked into it. What is the what are the details of the killings? I don't know. Looking at that nonsense. Aren't you married to a black woman? I am, but when we just when there's this whole thing about we not watching Dahmer because black trauma. So you think I'm gonna look into? If there's allegedly a serial killer targeting women who look like me. Oh, you mean in Charlotte? Yeah. Oh, that you meant the other one no, that I'm I referenced. Okay I mean, I do, <laughs> I do, but it's not in my backyard. Can't say stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I have to go watch the TikTok, but keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. If you going out. Just keep your head on a swivel, baby. Like you going across the middle, just look. Just got to keep looking both ways before you go out. Thank you. Nah, you'd be fine. you be fine. I got you. Do you? I got you. Because you got, don't like to go anywhere. I got people. I got sources. Okay. Don't forget, I got, I got sources on the ground. People, I got eyes on you. Don't worry. Thanks. But yeah, that'd be crazy if there was a, a serial, or the real, a real actual serial killer in mm -hmm. charlotte that'd be wild um sucks for 
any of the young women who've who've already disappeared. Um, I can't imagine what that that's like as a family member. But um, that's wild. Like the closest I've ever been to being in proximity to something like that was the uh, the DC sniper. Oh, I thought you were going to say to being a serial killer. I was like, mm-hmm. wait, were you contemplating being a serial? No, it was the uh, the DC sniper. Because it started out, it was like, oh man, a couple people got shot, like in the metro, in the in the DMV area. But then it was like every day, it was like, Phew, dang, somebody else got shot. Phew, dang, somebody else got shot. And then the cops were like, yo, this is a thing. <laughs> so they were like, all right, we're going to cut, cut, shut these schools down. Oh, they shut the school down? Uh, they got to a point, yeah, they closed schools. They closed the movie theaters, the malls. So y'all were just home. It was at the house. It's like pandemic practice. Bro, we was at the house. And it was so crazy because I was like, because nobody could figure out what they were driving, like who it was, how they were doing what they were doing. We just People just ended up dead. And, um, there was a room. Somebody had given a tip that uh, they were driving around like a cream colored van, you know, like those basic white vans that be driving around. Tell me you so that. everybody was seeing one. They was like, "It's like where you see be at the gas station pumping, and you see one." <laughs> and like, it was just this today the day. And then, uh, but yeah, they they shut it, they shut things down because there was um I think it was one of the I think of. It was a bus driver who was shot. That was in like Prince William County, where I lived. And they were like, yeah, we're going to close schools. Like, yeah, we're going to close the movie theaters and the malls. No virtual learning back then. Uh, oh, it was, I was lit. I was lit at the house because I wasn't trying to get shot, but I was lit. Uh, and I look back at it now and you, you see like the movies that have been made and you see like documentaries on it. It's like, man, this is just crazy. Like, dudes really just riding around, just popping people like left and right. Like it started off like the killings in I guess to come like Washington, right? I think the first people they killed, um, like those were close to them. But then you just just capping people at random, mm-hmm. like people sitting on a bunch on a bus bench, a bus driver, people pumping gas. Like it's just crazy to me I couldn't be a, you, I, I couldn't I couldn't couldn't be a serial killer because I just can't imagine what would have to click or snap or break mm-hmm. for me to just just off people at random like, it's gotta be some sort of thrill or something like I don't mm-hmm. I'm definitely I'm sure there's definitely a dopamine such a like huh. um well, this took a dark turn. It did. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I got to look into that serial killer allegations here in Charlotte. Please do. But you ain't ready to go go somewhere, so you ain't going to be here. You got nothing to worry about. I'm going to come back. Well, they might catch him by then. Or her, whoever it is. Well, we police might, be working some might catch days. them by then. Might catch them by then. We'll see. Yeah, we might get our very own uh, Zodiac. Or somebody. You know how wild it is that they never caught the Zodiac killer. Oh, they didn't? I thought somebody's head was in the box. Excuse me? Or am I thinking of the wrong movie? <laughs> Wait, what? Somebody's head was Yeah, and that where Brad Pitt was like, was in the box. <laughs> was in the box. Yes. What movie was that? Not only <laughs> is that not the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> that wasn't Brad Pitt, was it? That was Brad Pitt, oh, but this is a mo- it was it was a fiction movie. Oh, what movie was it? Um, it was about a killer, though. Oh Jesus Christ! What's the name of the movie? Uh, Seven. It was a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's based off a book. I think it's a Stephen. Is that a Stephen King book? Let me see. I feel like that's a very similar plot to the Zodiac Killer. Did I watch the Zodiac Killer? Did you make me watch that? Because he was so. But is the guy in the Zodiac Killer? Does he look like Brad Pitt? No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's um. Who plays the? It's Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal's Gyllenhaal is the the um the guy who gets like crazy on the case. Robert Downey Jr. is in there. He was, he played the journalist and um. 
I feel like those are the two most notable people. Maybe I don't remember the Zodiac Killer because when I think of Zodiac Killer, I think of the scene of what's in the box. Nah. What's in the box? I'm trying to figure out. I feel like it was based off a book. I, I don't know. I'm not looking it up, but yeah. It's got Kevin Spacey in it. And Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman. In the box. <sighs> Whose head was in the box? I don't want to spoil it. I mean, it came out in 95, but there may be someone who hasn't seen it yet who wants to watch it. Like Clearly, that may- I need to go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> have I even seen it? I feel like maybe I've just seen Seven? It. Did you make me watch Seven? Uh, we may have watched it. It was probably would have been when we were dating. Um, I also made you watch Zodiac, yes. Wasn't there like a bookstore or like an old store that like something happened in? Um... I can't, I can't remember. I, I know he was, he ended up in somebody's basement who he thought was connected to the actual Zodiac Killer, but he, he got out because they were like alone and they were in the dude's basement and he was looking for, what was he looking for? Like a, a movie poster or something. And he heard steps uh, like above them, like somebody walking on the floorboards above them. And he was like, he said, it was like Jake Gyllenhaal was like, I thought you said you were here alone. <laughs> it was and it was creepy i like one i'm not going to nobody's basement no. like even if it's even growing up i didn't go into my own basement <laughs> even if it's peak like 12 12 on one in the afternoon it's i'm not basement. it doesn't matter what I'm time going, it is outside i'm not, I'm not going to nobody's basement. basements are always nighttime for nothing like you need to get something i'll be here when you get back because i'll be right i'll be right here that small little trap window that lets minimal sun in Soundproof. That's always covered with leaves. Soundproof. They nah. can't hear you screaming. I don't do basements. Nah, nah. I'm not going down there. I'm like, you go and go down to the cellar. Get what you need. I'll be right here. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I might be gone. Yeah. But yeah, no, that was a really good movie. So they never caught the Zodiac Killer. We caught him. How? Even I think the closest there was um someone had gotten shot. He killed a taxi cab driver. Um. And someone was like, someone saw it or was right there. And I think, uh, I can't, it's it's so fuzzy now, but caught close a couple times, but never caught him. <clears throat> they, there was this one, I think his name was Lou Allen. Uh, there was this one prime suspect that they thought it was. Like, they were really sure. Like, the the movie is based off a book that the, the person who Jake Gyllenhaal's character is or plays, like, wrote a book. I think a lot of the movie, the movie took a lot of inspiration from it. Um, they thought it was him, but they could never, they could never pin him. And then I think they'd gotten enough evidence to bring him in or something, but he ended up like dying of cancer or something. So, but then there was something. No DNA, no. (sighs) They couldn't couldn't get him. Uh, There was something that came out like a few months ago. Some people said like they had cracked like one of the last, because he would send little, clues like little zodiac messages or or some code that they had to um what do you call it when you stick decipher yeah uh, and said that they had deciphered one of the old the last well how do they know they deciphered it? <clears throat> i don't know i mean at, at this point like i wouldn't care but yeah i don't think they ever actually found the zodiac code and i think one person may have like said they did on their deathbed but as of now, there's no, they can't say, they can't say with any hmm. type of confidence who the Zodiac Killer was. Interesting. Crazy. I've thought about getting into like crime podcasts. I've heard that that's like a whole genre that's really one, getting people out of prison, but two, keeping people very entertained. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I think what's crazy for me. Like just with the Zodiac Killer, like like my parents were alive during that time. Like they were in California. I remember asking my dad, I was like, "Hey, you remember you were alive with Zodiac?" Mm-hmm. Like, what was it? What was it like? He was like, <laughs> "Like it was some dude going around killing people." Like it's California. Like it's not rare <laughs> for people to get killed. It's but in California. And I was like, oh, "Okay." You get a little bit more out of my mom, but even she didn't really. Didn't really talk that much about it. She was just like, yeah, it was, it was on the news, but 
you know that was it like it was a thing and then it's eventually at some point it wasn't mm. Mm. interesting it is very interesting um do you want to stop yeah i feel like we've had an episode where we haven't really talked about anything no we just kind of kind of bounced around but random vibes random vibes yeah random algorithm vibes algorithm vibes i don't, I don't think we're making the algorithm this week Mm-mm. but yeah cool cool so we may not have an episode next week because jessica's gonna be out of town just over the weekend oh yeah so we'll have an episode next week um but yo for anybody who stumbles upon us hopefully watch most of the episode uh be sure to hit the subscribe button the like button if you uh if you dug the episode we drop episodes every wednesday ish this would be a thursday ish drop drop uh we're also on facebook and instagram so be sure to check us out there apple spotify google tune in so be sure to hit us up um and uh we mentioned that uh, our extended family was um going through some some things uh last episode and i uh, just wanted to uh say uh rest in heaven and rest in peace and rest well to my uh uncle eddie who uh passed away this week so just wanted to say that and uh, again, express my love for my cousins and my my aunt and all my family members who are, no doubt, uh, mourning and, and grieving this time. Anything? Okay. So we'll be back next week. Y'all have a good weekend. Don't let your kids drive you crazy. Oh, vote. <laughs> and early voting for those of you who are. I mean, I feel like early voting is going on all around the country the places i have it uh but i know here specifically in north carolina it ends saturday which is this uh, f- which is this weekend <laughs> so go vote uh, that way if you're in georgia please go vote go vote so you don't have to uh, wait in line on election day that and part. good luck to everybody all right rush vibes we out peace going for some growing pains yeah none but some growing pains yeah, hey, hey. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Yeah, I done.